All right, now that we got the hard ones out of the way, we're gonna do an easy one. This one is shaped like an L. We're gonna call this our front face. So we're gonna go to Inventor, and we wanna change this to English and do it in inches. I'm gonna hit Create. Again, I wanna start a 2D sketch on our XY plane. And I'm gonna hit the Windows right, and click on our uh, drawing here and go windows left so I have it split screen down the middle. I'm going to use my middle of my mouse scroll wheel, click that down and move it over so I have some space to draw. I'm going to click the line and I'm going to do this L that's laying on its backside. So I'm going to go up and over and up and very carefully connect the dots here. All right, so that's perpendicular. We've got some straight lines. <clears throat> now I want to use my dimension tool. Again, making this the longest at 3.5. Hitting enter. Hitting my front button and backing up a little bit. And then I want to make this top one inch. I want to make this one inch, and I want to make this 2.5. There we go. I'm going to click finish the sketch, and now extrude this part. I'm going to actually push it backwards, um, and it is going to be, I'm going to add all these numbers up. So I'm going to go 0.5 plus 1.5 plus 0.5. So you can use these as calculators and click OK. You can see it does it for me. I'm going to... Turn, turn it around so that, whoops, let's see here, I want to get it matched up. I like having my pictures matched up with my um, drawings so that it's easy for me to draw. So I'm right clicking on the home and making this my fix. And now I'm going to do this first extrusion down. So I'm going to click left click and then go to create sketch I need to drag this over a little bit so I can see what I'm doing hit my project geometry on the top there and simply use the rectangle and I'm going to start on this line right here and make this one and I'm going to use my tab button to go over and that is 1.5 I'm going to use my dimension tool and I'm going to go from the top to here and you can see that that is 0.5. So that makes this and this equal. I'm going to click finish sketch and now I'm going to extrude the part we just did. But I want to go down and I want to make that the same as this space right here and it's 0.5. Click OK. Now we've got the top done, and we're going to do this part right here. Um, the way I'm going to show you is I'm going to click on the front, and again, project geometry. That kind of outlines it for me. I'm going to start on the yellow line, draw down to the next yellow line, and I'm not going to click anything, I'm just going to type uh, the width is 0.5, use the tab, and 1, and hit enter, and then use my dimensions for here to here, and that is 1. I'm going to finish the sketch and extrude this part. Again, I want to push it into the shape and that is 1.5 and 
click OK, and we are all done. We have a shape that looks like the one we need to turn in. So you can see we're going to save this as part three. So I'll hit the I, save as, again, putting it in your name folder, your downloads folder, part, part three, your initials, save it. And then I will go to, for insurance reasons, we're going to upload it to Google. So I'm going to go to my, uh, our class page, your turn in folder, hit the upload file, and then find it in the folder that you put it in. And there's mine, hit open, it takes a second for it to load. And then the final thing is please upload it to your My Big Campus schoolwork and hit submit and you'll have it turned in.